Hello friends, first I'll say thank you for 113,000 subscribers. Your love and support is appreciated. We've come a long way on this channel and we still have a long, long way to go. Please continue to keep your requests coming and I'll try to fulfill them on weekends. Today I'm sharing one of the last recipes I filmed while my daughter was home on spring break and it's one of the easiest chicken recipes I make and not only is it easy, it's tasty, healthy and nutritious and I could probably eat it every day. This is also the chicken recipe I make when I run out of curry powder. You heard it right, this recipe requires no curry powder. So if you're interested in seeing how I make this no curry chicken, let's start cooking the ingredients are surprisingly simple and today it's another great opportunity to use up those dried spices in your kitchen i have already cut up a whole chicken i've rinsed it and drained it and now we're prepping the onion in the medium pot over high heat with about four to six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil we'll add in the whole chopped onion we'll fry the onion until it's salt and brown the heat is on medium and you might be wondering why I don't have any curry powder. Well, my daughter's friends were over for spring break and one of her Bengali friends loved the curry so much, I gave her the little bit that was remaining. She loved sprinkling it on her eggs. Sounds strange, but she said it was really delicious. Hi Leo, say hi. Next we'll prep the tomatoes. While the onions are browning, we have sufficient time to do the tomatoes as well as the celery or scallions if you have, or even make green seeds thing. But today we're keeping it simple and I'll just use cilantro. The goal here today is to show you that you could make a dish, a delicious dish, even if you don't have many ingredients or the main ingredients required for a curry. I'll add some hot pepper to the pot. So she has counted 20 cardamom, one cinnamon stick she has taken out of the bottle and we'll use about 10 cloves. Now I'll add in the spices. The, the onion is nice and brown, caramelized. The sweetness has been developed and now I'll add in the turmeric. I'll start with about one, let's say one and a half teaspoons. Now I'll add in the spices, the cinnamon, cardamom and cloves. Spice makes it nice. Give it a stir. Hmm, smells really, really good right now. The turmeric smells amazing as well. Now I'll add in the chicken. And you can also use chicken legs cut up in two or chicken thighs. And I'm leaving the skin on because this is a pasture-raised chicken. Everything is delicious, everything is healthy. And you'll see how this develops. You might think that's not enough spices, but as we cook it, the turmeric will develop in color. Give it a stir. Anyone can create this. No experience and no special techniques necessary. It already has a lovely yellow color. If you had curry powder and you wanted to take this, make this into a curry, you certainly can. Just cook the curry for a couple of minutes. Add a little water, cook the curry until it's grainy and then you proceed uh, to add the chicken in. And we're doing this because we have no curry powder. I'm going to allow this to cook for a couple of minutes and then I'll add in the tomatoes. I have six cloves of garlic which I have roughly chopped and I'm going to add it to the pot along with the tomatoes. This is little over a pound of tomatoes. Very ripe, delicious. The six cloves of garlic. 
varying sizes. So you add garlic according to your preference. Mmm, smells really, really, really good. This is perfect for those of you who don't like curry. If you exist. Probably do. Let me know below in the comments. My daughter chopped about a cup of the cilantro and I'm going to add half of it so that the flavor will penetrate during the cooking process. And during the end of the cooking process, we'll add the remaining uh, cilantro for color. If you had some green seasoning at this point, you could add a uh, two to three tablespoons. We don't want to overpower the dish with seasoning. We want the flavor of the chicken and the turmeric to shine. I'm going to cover this and cook it for about 40 minutes and that's it. And I'm going to check it every 10 minutes or so. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt, Himalayan salt. Add according to your preference. A half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'll stir it and cover it and allow it to continue to cook. Chicken has been cooking for about 20 minutes. The delicious aroma is filling the house, enticing our appetite. We're all getting very hungry. Well, it's just my daughter and I. It's looking wonderful. It smells amazing. The tomatoes have broken down. I'm going to give it a taste for salt. Mmm, absolutely perfect and delicious. It appears to be almost done cooking because this is a different type of chicken and chicken will cook at different rates. As you can see, it's falling apart. It's broken up, it's falling apart, which means it's nearing the end of the cooking process. The meat here has pulled away from the bone, which is another good indication that the chicken is fully cooked. I'm going to add, I'm going to add the cilantro finishing cilantro and cook it for about five to seven more minutes and then it's done. We'll take a picture and we'll get ready to eat. You can have this with paratha roti, dalberry roti if you do so desire but this is a quick no fuss, no drama, no curry chicken and we're going to eat it with rice for a quick weeknight meal. And before I go, I just wanted to remind you to take out the spices. If you're serving it to children or your husband or anybody else for that matter, don't forget to take out those spices because it can be a, not a very pleasurable um, eating experience to bite into a cardamom, a cardamom or a clove. As you can also see, the color is very rich. The flavor is rich. Looks like curry with no curry. And the flavor has developed quite beautifully with only one and a half teaspoons of turmeric. And that's all we received, my sweet friends. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Today we use simple ingredients and a simple process to create a satisfying meal. If you try this at home, please tag me on social media. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a lovely comment below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay safe, be well, cook, share, and love. Bye-bye.